Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to Freddy Adu playing Football Manager 2017, York City, I do love Yorkshire. It's another episode, it's been a long time coming, apologies for that. Um, there is a reason, uh, I recorded an episode uh, a few days ago and the audio didn't record. <sighs> so, <laughs> that really annoyed me, partially because it would have been really good, it would have been two victories, victory away against Plymouth. A late winner in a very good game, and then a 1 0 home win in a quite a crap game, to be honest. But wins, two wins in an episode, it would have been a while since that had happened. But as it is, the last game I think you saw was this 4 1 win uh, against Grimsby, where both of our strikers got back into form, both scored a couple, uh, both got an assist each as well, 9.3 ratings apiece. And so naturally, we didn't score for our following four games. <laughs> two awful 0 0 0s, where we got two key injuries to Atkinson and then Connolly. Then we got stuffed by Luton 3 0 in an abysmal performance. This game, uh, the actually, I actually played this game twice. Uh, the first time I played it, the game crashed uh, as I, I tried to leave it. So I tried to, you know, I tried to leave the game and it crashed, so I had to restart. Uh, we only lost 2 1 the first time round. Second time round, we lost 3 0. So yeah, not great. And then another 0 0. But since then, we have kicked on a little bit. All right, there's this 3 0 loss in here as well to Crawley, which isn't great. But other than that, We've got five wins in our last six. A few decent performances in there as well. So we're looking good. But one thing that has happened is you'll notice if I just click through these games is that Andy Little has been dropped since the 3 0. His performances have just fallen away. And in the games since, Cassidy and Piggott have both been playing well. Well, this last game notwithstanding, but in these other two, they both played well. They've both been in goals. So. Yeah, Andy Little's been dropped to the bench, at least for now anyway. We'll see if he gets back into the team at some point in this episode. In this episode, we're going to be in Cheltenham away and then Coventry at home. And then there's not that many games left until the end of the season. So where are we in terms of the league? That's an excellent question, Freddie. Thank you for asking. In terms of the league, we're fucking top of it. That's the other reason I'm so annoyed that the audio didn't record for the last episode because it ended with us going top of the league and I was so happy. So we're out of all the cups. We've got nothing else to really play for other than the league. So concentration on that is paramount. We have a two point lead at the top over Luton who stuffed us. But the I nearly said I'm not that bothered about winning the league. I am, I'd love to win the league. Two league titles in two seasons, our first two seasons, that'd be amazing. But the main priority is maintaining a top three place. And we've got a six point buffer ahead of Mansfield. Our goal difference is pretty shocking. I mean the 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 four teams behind us have a far better goal difference. Stevenage is around the same, Doncaster and below, other than Coventry, is worse. So, particularly against Luton, our goal difference is not going to improve compared to theirs. So we're going to need to try and stay points ahead. But realistically, one game at a time, every game's a cup final and all that shit. I hope you're liking the diversity that's coming to this channel now, uh, with me and Franny both playing different games, sometimes together, sometimes separately. I hope you are... Uh, enjoying that um, I know this started out as a football manager channel but uh, football manager unless you have football manager videos as your day job it's very difficult to get football manager videos out because there's a lot of work goes on in between and I work um, not exactly long hours but quite hard hours and I don't really have that much time to play football manager uh, in between videos really just enough to get through a few games to record another episode so to get Two episodes out a week of this will be quite difficult for me. The, the one a week that I'm on at the moment is more of a pace that I can manage, whereas other, other games can literally just press record and start recording them and churn out a few episodes pretty quickly and easily. Football Manager isn't like that, so apologies if you do come to this channel wanting Football Manager content and seeing other things isn't really what you wanted, but hopefully hopefully the quality is still there, hopefully you're still enjoying it. So uh, odds on favourites to beat Cheltenham here, so hopefully that, ha that, hopefully that pans out. But uh, I've got Callum Whelan wanting to discuss his lack of first team football. That it's, it's that part of the season. People are coming to me saying this. Now, he has great potential, but not excellent current ability. And when he has played, uh, his average there, his weighted average is 7.01. Uh, eight starts, nine sub appearances. He's only made one start in the league. I haven't really given him that much of a shake in the league, really. Maybe I should. Although, is. Mm, his performances in the under-23s and non-competitive games are what's done him well. Although he's played well in the Cheffy Trade Trophy when I started him. I don't know, maybe I'll give him a run. I'll see 
I'm put off really because as a central midfielder, heading of two, uh, tackling of seven, marking of eight doesn't really do it. I mean, yeah, he's got pace and he's got stamina to get up and down, but I don't know. Unless I'm going to train him to, I could train him to be a advanced playmaker, couldn't I? Although I play with support strike, shadow striker quite a lot, and he's not really got the attributes for that. Maybe a loan move. Maybe I'll loan him out. Yeah, Little's unable to resolve it, so I'll I'll tell him I'll loan him out. So. Uh, uh, loan move, yeah, he's happy with that. Good stuff. Let's I'll offer him out on loan for free. We don't really need the money. Well, we do, we do but <laughs> I want to get him out there, so let's offer him out for free. And immediately an offer from Hartlepool as backup, though. That's kind of what he is here. Um, we'll accept it, but I'll keep an eye on it. So here's going to be the team for uh, this game against Cheltenham. Madison in goal. Uh, Duckworth and Rooney have been swapping the right back spot. Both of them playing okay, neither all that amazingly, so I'm just kind of rotating them. Uh, if one of them goes on a good run of games, then they'll, they'll keep in the team. Uh, Rooney's had a couple of poor games in a row, so Duckworth can come back in. De Grasse, I'm still sticking with for now. Uh, his, his rating has dipped to 6.78, which is still okay. Uh, Sonny Bradley, average in 7, 7.15 for the season. Alongside him, he's solid. Uh, Alex Whittle, Joe, Joe Maguire was holding down the left-back spot for a long time, but he had a, pure, a few poor games in a row, so I brought Whittle back in. And he's having a seven in his last five, so he can keep in the team for now, despite my coaches thinking he's not good enough. Um, White Man had a poor run, so he came out of the team for a bit. Clovis has come back in and done all right, <laughs> so <laughs> Clovis can stay in for now, for lack of a better option. Atkinson, as ever, is excellent. O'Hanlon has picked up his game of late. Aidan Connolly and Cal Cop are another pair that have been kind of trading the position between them. Uh, Cop hasn't really done it though, 6.7 average. Connolly can stay in. Uh, Cassidy has been on good goal scoring form lately coming in for the out of form Andy Little and Joe Piggott uh, is averaging near a 7 for the season he's doing very well, 12 goals uh, catching up towards Andy Little's total so this is going to be team for today's game uh, one that I last two or three three, oh very good so <laughs> hopefully we can keep that run going a nice mostly green team talk there so let's uh, Let's kick off this match and see if we can't get some fucking points on the board. Let's see if we can't stay top of the league. Oh, I'm excited by that prospect. I'm tempted to leave that in unedited. Because that was the shortest, shittest half I think I've ever seen. Oh, and the episodes in the last... The first episode in the last... No, the first game in the last episode, the no audio one, was so good. And this is so bad. Um, calmly... Uh, I'm going to say that uh, that's mixed results that's passionately faith then I know you're capable I just I want more from you lads I want more from you it's all green again well not all but you know very much green again so let's see if we can't do something better or, or something at all in this second half nice one Mike cheers mate oh here we go we've got how to highlight it's theirs header away here's Greenwood for them uh, is Munz, Storer, Hope down the left. I hope this game will improve. <laughs> Sorry. Greenwood. Oh, Holman, and they've scored. And I, I sound a bit happy about that, and I'm not, but it's just because something's finally happened. Oh, it's an old man. And um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Changes will be made. I guess I'll watch this in 3D then, since fuck all that's happening in the game. Hope just passed that ball without moving his legs. That's skill for you. And uh, our defenders didn't really deal with it. Block, and that's a good finish, to be fair to him. Good reaction finish from Holman. And yes, we need to make some fucking changes now then, don't we? So, uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? So, only one sub for now. I'm going to bring Andy Little on for Jake Cassidy. He's only played a 6.4, so is Piggott. Andy Little's going to come on, advanced forward attack, it's his natural role, he is the man of this team, he has been for pretty much the entire save so far, uh, up until the last few weeks, so, and I think I'm going to switch him to fluid, and we're going to go attack him, we've got half an hour, Matt, ooh, maybe control, we haven't really had much possession, so yeah, we'll go control, and, um, ooh, what should we go with on here, maybe run at the defence a little, a bit more, we'll I haven't really got a good dribblers. We'll go for a bit more expressive and we'll up the tempo. Okay. He still gets along well with me despite me dropping him lately, so hopefully he can do the business for us today. Come on, Andy. Immediately another highlight. Two highlights 
in the space of a minute. And it's going to be theirs again by the look of it. Hope looking long for Holman. Madison. That was dangerous, but you did well, mate. You did well. Duckworth, where are you going, bruv? He's going long towards Piggott. Can he win that? He has. Good stuff, Joe. All right. Finds O'Hanlon. Good. So we'll make a run for him. There's no one. He's, got, he's one on five. Cam Joe is inside. Clovis, I mean, sorry. Cam Joe? That's going to be the first time I've ever said that. Here's Connolly. Here's Alex Whittle. Good ball, please, Alex. In there for Joe. Oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty if, if, given away by Daniel O'Shaughnessy. And Joe Piggott is on penalties these days. Oh, I changed it last time, didn't I? Was that was that in the last actual episode or was that in the no audio episode? I can't remember. Oh, either way, it's a penalty for us. This is a long highlight to sit through. This is a long highlight. Well done. Well done, Johnny Madison. Good header in the end. You, you put your hands up towards your head when you headed it, which is a little worrying. That from Duckworth ain't great, but it worked out. Through good play from Joe. So Piggott, we're going to switch camera angles in a second now. And uh, O'Hanlon then. What have we got? So Clovis is his option inside. Atkinson, as ever, in the middle of the park, pulling the strings. Connolly. So it's going to be a ball in from Alex Will. So where's the foul here? Oh, it's a push. It's a push on Joe as he goes to try and head it into the empty net that Baxter vacated. He gets his chance now from the spot and buries it. Fucking good lad. One apiece. We're not going to change from these control tactics since clearly 30 seconds after I made them, it started working. And we've scored a goal. One all. Uh, would I take a draw at this point? Mm, maybe. But we'll push for a win. Penalty from Joe Piggott. In the corner. Very good. Very good penalty indeed. All right. Come on, let's push for a win. Thanks for that replay. Oh, Chris Atkinson's injured. Great. Damaged heel. Our best midfielder is out. Uh, Alex Lawless can come in. I've noticed, just noticed then that they had a lot of possession just before I went into here. Oh, another one that gets along well with me. Excellent stuff. Come on, come on, Alex. You haven't really done anything since I've signed you. Make a difference today. We're ticking, time's ticking away, though. Time's ticking away. 83 minutes. All right. What can I do? I can bring Cal Cop on and hope that we'd maybe get a free kick. A dead ball could win this for us. Oh, I was pausing it to go into tactics. Oh, well, well cleared. Is hope for them. Sorry, I wasn't commentating then. I was just panicking. Sonny Badley, that's not a great header away. Greenwood, that's a header at goal from far too far out. Madison, easy. Is that the highlight, really? Yes, it is. Fucking hell. <laughs> Tactics screen. I'm going to move Clovis to ball and midfielder on support, getting further up, getting winning the ball. I'm going to move O'Hanlon into actually no automatic, automatic role, and then uh, Piggott can go attacking. And uh, there's not really that much else I can change, is there? Uh, we will go from control. Oh, do we want to go on attacking? We're away. No, we don't. We'll leave everything else as is. Just hope we can get a goal. Duckworth, come on Vera, here's Clovis, Calcop, Lawless, O'Hanlon, good ball, come on Vera, it's headed towards out Lawless, it hasn't worked out, but we've kept the ball, look at the amount of men we have forward here, Duckworth, good ball in please, Joe Piggott on the head, yes Joe Piggott, fucking you little beauty, right then, defensive strategies, Def oh no wait, don't do it here, cancel that, and do it here, because then you can do more things, yes, okay, alright Freddy, Calm down a little. <laughs> Calm down a little. Defensive. Uh, we'll take Whittle off then. Oh no, I can't. I've made all three subs. Calm down. Defensive midfielder defend. Um, oh, Hanlon on to defend as well. Uh, you on to support. You on to support. Uh, Andy, can you play defensive forward? You can. Oh, you can. Excellent stuff, mate. Not on defend though, on support. And uh, team instruction go to defensive. Um, go to shorter passing, go to a lower tempo, more disciplined. <sighs> Hold on to the win. Hold on. Hold the lane. Do, 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 do. Love isn't always on time. No, no, no. Good old Toto. Fucking who doesn't love Toto? If you don't love Toto, then what even are you? Great cross by Vera. Up there for Joe. Good header. Baxter could have maybe done more. But Joe Piggott is the hero of the day once again. He's taken over from Andy Little rapidly here as my favourite striker at this club. 
this is another highlight. This isn't game ending. It's only 88th minute. Here's Clovis. Lawless. Don't lose the ball. Joe. Lawless. And a little made a run too early. Alex Lawless, I slagged off for not doing anything, and he still hasn't. <sighs> okay. Calm down a little, Freddie. Calm down. Just, just take a breath. Relax a little. Oh dear. Please, please, please get this away, please. Please get this away. Come on, lads. Yes, Kyle. Yes, Kyle. 2 1 win away from home. A hard fought victory. The kind of victories you need if you're going to win a league title. Well done, lads. <sighs> Fucking hell. Four points clear at the top. Four points clear at the top. How many points clear of, th of fourth? We're eight points clear of fourth. Oh, calm down, Freddie. Calm down. Calm down. Atkinson's injured. The damage seal is going to keep him out for two weeks. And we've just sent. We've just sent Whelan on loan, or have we yet? Have we sent him on loan yet? Uh, can I cancel that, please? I'm going to cancel that. Sorry, Callum. But I say sorry, but it's going to put you in the team, or at least on the bench for a couple of weeks. I'll look to maybe loan you out after that. And just at that moment, we're we're looking pleased with his progress in training. So maybe maybe I'll get actually know what then. You know what? I will give Callum Whelan a run in the team. Fuck it. Why not? Go, let's go for it. Alex Lawless still hasn't done anything. So so we are heavy. Heavy favourites to win this home game against Coventry City, but Coventry City are are seventh in the league, so they're no chumps, and we will not be taking them lightly. Rest assured of that. But as you can see by the red on the screen, there are some changes needed to the team now. Uh, Degrassi he had a slightly better game last game, up to a 6.8 average, but I was going to give Magoma uh, a chance in the first team for this game, but uh, not anymore. So uh, I'm just going to uh, who shall I bring on onto the bench? Uh, for him at centre back, yeah. Uh, actually, no, not Cowgill. Fuck him. He's he's not getting loaned back again. Uh, Robinson can come into the bench uh, to cover centre back, and uh, we want uh, Mr. Callum Whelan, don't we, into the team? Can you play box to box? Not really. Can Alex? Yeah, Alex can do it. Alex can do that then, and Callum Whelan can play as the central midfielder. And other than that, I'm not going to change the team because I feel like the last game went. Other than their goal, obviously, and the first half being awful. Actually, it didn't go that well, did it? We just kind of snatched it at the end, thanks to Joe. Hmm. Nah. Uh, mm. Yeah, mm. Indecisive. Indecisive, Freddy. Be decisive. Go for it. Oh, here we go. First highlights for them. We've dominated possession, dominated the game so far, and it's. A, I knew that was going to be a penalty. As soon as he was dribbling slowly, and there were two of my players closing him down, I knew that was going to be a penalty. It's Vera that's giving it away. Will there be additional punishment? It doesn't like it. Oh, fucking hell. In a half that we've dominated but created nothing, we've given away a penalty at the end of it. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I do not want to watch it. I don't want to watch. Just show, let's, let's just see the penalty, see if it goes in. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Luton are losing. That's a good thing. But come on, Johnny. Can't be relying on Luton losing. Oh, I thought he'd saved it for a second. I thought he'd got it. He's straight down the middle. He stayed down the middle. The power must have done for him. We'll watch it in 3D and we'll see. Oh, no. Come on, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, mate. I'm sorry, but you've got to be saving that. That, that didn't look that powerful. But it's in. That's, what, that's all that really counts. That's all that really matters in the end. And that is going to be half time. Right. Calm. I expect to see much better. Nothing else, no individuals, just that and go. Because we dominated the half, but we didn't create anything. So I think calmly do better is what was required there. Well done, Alex. I hope we're not just going to be missing Atkinson too much. All right, we've hit the hour, so changes need to be made now. <sighs> Aiden Connolly has had an absolute shocker. The, the yellow card will drag that rating down, I'm aware. But I'm going to bring Cal Cop in, in that role. And we're going to switch to... We're going to switch to control for now and fluid because um, we have controlled the game anyway and we're going to up the tempo a little and be more expressive similar to the last game uh, it worked in the last game so hopefully we can work in this one as well uh cal cop i believe in you mate yes another one that gets a long way with me come on that change has yielded nothing a little over 10 minutes to go i'm going to bring andy little on because uh, cassidy's had a poor game and looks frustrated callum Whelan looks really nervous so I'm going to bring him off for, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring him off for Lawless and swap Lawless and O'Hanlon over. Oh, please, boys, please, 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 boys, do something for me. Neither of you doing anything lately. Um, Alex Lawless hasn't done anything at all. 
Come on, lads, please. At least get us a draw out of this. No, we're, we're heading... Oh, it's going to be there. At the way. Either way, I'm going to have to make this change then. So we're going to go to attacking. And we're going to go more direct. And we're going to hit early... Mm, yeah, hit early crosses. All right. Yes, though, Alex. All right, here's Joe. It might be our attack then. Here's Carl Cop. Carl, don't just shoot. Don't just shoot. Fuck's sake. Injury time. Nothing's going to happen of it. I knew when... And the, the book is made as such heavy favourites. I was surprised because they're in seventh. They're no chumps when they're in seventh. And we've lost it 1-0. Very poor performance from us, abysmal performance. And uh, I'm going to calmly. No, not not aggressive though, because we're still at the top of the league. So assertively, you are not good enough today. Did Luton lose? Yes, they did. Good. So we maintain our four point bracket, but we allow the other teams to catch up. We now only have a five point bracket over fourth place. It's better than when the episode started, I guess, which is something, but it's not as good as it was. <laughs> before that game but anyway I hope you enjoyed that game that uh, episode if you have leave a like if you haven't go to the comments tell me why not and if you want to see more hit subscribe and I will see you next time I'm Freddie Adu peace